गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट लेसन एट विच इज ऑल्सो अ पार्ट ऑफ यूनिट थर्ड फूड इन दिक्स चैप्टर वी लर्न हाउ प्लान मेक देयर फूड एंड इन सेवेंथ चैप्टर वी लर्न अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम एंड डिसीजेस फेस्ड बाय द पीपल वेन दे आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम द शॉर्टेज ऑफ फूड नाउ इन दिस एट्थ चैप्टर वी विल लर्न अबाउट एनिमल्स that how animals search their food so the name of the chapter is searching for food children normal human have five sense organs that is eyes ears nose tongue and skin and we use our sense organs to get information about our surrounding these sense organs send the messages to the brain and help us to react accordingly so all these five sense organs are very very important for us because they help us to feel the world around us and to understand what's happening around us but animals do not have all these senses so how they can live they have developed many other strange and wonderful ways or we can say that special senses to find their way around they use them in different ways let us take a look at how animals use their senses to find food if we will talk about the sense of vision some birds and insect have good eyesight they depend on their sense of sight to locate their prey eagles and hawks are able to spot their prey while flying high insects such as ants flies and bees have large compound eyes made up of thousands of small micro eyes compound eyes help the insect to spot the fast moving prey owls are active at night they are called as nocturnal animals they have large eyes that help them see even in dim light they have large sensitive ear openings to catch the faintest sound and locate their prey even in complete darkness they have soft fluffy feathers that enable them to fly in complete silence and catch their prey this is about the sense of vision if we will talk about the sense of hearing so the bat is very good example for this a bat sleeps through the day in shelter places and wakes up at night it makes high pitch sound using its mouth or nose when these sound waves meet an object they produce echoes the echoes bounces of the object and return to the bat these echoes help the bat to locate its food this special technique is called echolocation children do you know whales and dolphins also locate their food through echolocation nocturnal animals such as owls night jars and kakapoos have a strong sense of hearing that helps them find their food in complete darkness animals with poor vision depend heavily on the sense of smell to locate their food dog have a powerful sense and an excellent sense of smell and hearing they use their sense organ to locate their prey and food because of their powerful sense of smell they are used by the police to detect criminals vultures have a good sense of smell they smell dead animals from a distance bear also have an amazing sense of smell a polar bear smells a seal which is its food on the ice 20 kilometers away <coughs> 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 
children an ant has a pair of antenna on its head the ants use their antennas to smell they do not communicate with each other through sound so when an ant find food it leaves a chemical trail along the ground on its way other ants soon follow this trail they leave more chemical trails on the way to keep the trail alive till all the food is collected snake have good eyesight over a short distance but their sense of smell is more accurate so they use it to search for food a snake flicks its tongue in and out of its mouth the tongue picks up odor from the air or the taste of the object it touches and send the message to the brain snakes like pit vipers and pythons have a special type of sense organs a heat sensory receptor that helps them locate their prey at night shark also have an excellent sense of smell they smell even a tiny drops of blood and sense where it is coming from similarly organisms with poor eyesight such as rats cockroaches and bees depend on their sense of smell to find food